are dead after an early morning shooting in Miami Township, Claremont County, both with ties to the same woman. News 5's Christy Davis has the details from the home on Wolf Pen Pleasant Hill Road. Police say it was the woman's ex-husband who forced his way into the home, shooting her boyfriend and then turning the gun on himself. Broken glass and a broken doorway point to the early morning altercation. Police say the suspected shooter forced his way into the house through a window and made his way into a back bedroom. That's where they believe the shooting happened. Police have been here before for domestic disputes, but say the woman living here never seemed to anticipate this type of violence. I mean, they've had domestic disturbances in the past where she wanted him to leave and he left. There were children in the house when the shooting happened around 6 this morning. They weren't harmed. Neighbors like Wanda Lewis were surprised by the number of police on their normally quiet street. They were lined up everywhere. School buses were backed up, everything. But she isn't worried about future violence. Her only concern is for the woman and children who have to return to the house. It's really sad, really sad. I mean, uh, I knew they had kids over there and. Um, been over for a couple garage sales over there, but that's really all I knew of them. In Miami Township, Claremont County, Christy Davis, WLWT News 5. The suspected shooter died there at the home. The victim was taken to the hospital where he later died from his injuries.